ever advocate sort of uh, different remarketing strategies based on, on on actions that people take in the store? A hundred percent. We can't really take all the all the poten all the visitors and potential customers and treat them the same way because we have to start splitting all the audience as different audiences as different audiences. Okay, so. There are the people that came, uh, they bounce. So we don't really care about them. If they, they never saw our landing page, we don't care. So we have the people that spend at least 15 to 20 seconds. I would say even more, but let's say, let's start from the people that at least they saw our product, like 15 seconds are more than enough. So people that viewed our content, viewed our landing page, viewed our product. So this is one audience. The next audience is the people who added to cart. Awesome. The next people are people who started initiating the checkout. So started filling all the information. And of course, obviously there are the people who purchase. So these are four, if I count it right, <laughs> four different audiences that we have to treat them differently. Why? Because if someone has added to cart, if, if even greater has started initiating checkout, he, he just needs a little push. So what I'm going to do is we are going to go into ad creatives where we are going to offer like free shipping or a coupon or even if people, when people are, and this is the biggest mistake, believe it or not, the biggest mistake I've seen is that when people start and they're getting that initial sale, sale, they're looking for another guy. No! Like the guy, he just paid you money. He just make sure that you give him an amazing customer experience and make sure you, t you, t uh, you turn him into a customer for life. Yep. Like it doesn't even matter if, even if next day you give him a coupon for 50% off. People, I, to I talk to them, to people and tell them that and we say, what? You're crazy? Like 50% off, it kills off my margin. That's your biggest mistake. Like, stop treating the guys like money in versus money out. A really good customer and the lifetime uh, customer value, and that's number four yeah. of, of the metrics that I look at, is the super most important thing. I had customers working with people that they had customers coming back into their store in less than six months and buying for the 10th time. And yeah. honestly, they have an average order value of 100 bucks, 150 bucks. 200 bucks, not many, but still you have someone who has trusted you. You've given them an amazing customer experience. So they will come back and buy from you again. So definitely and obviously we need to treat all these audiences differently. We need to give them that little pop, the yeah. little kick to, oh, come, dude, buy from us again. We're a super cool store. And then once you get them that second time, it's like a whole other thing. They're no longer just that one-time customer. If you get them two times, you can get them again and again. Of course. This Again, this going back to the e-commerce expert survey, I think the, one of the number one pain points or the reasons that people were having tr problems with e-commerce is not enough repeat customers. And, and I, I think it, it, it goes through everything that we've talked about in this interview series, back to uh, you know, creative and, and a customer experience and funnel, and then all the way back to strategy. It's like you sort of, it's like you have to build a business with repeat customers in mind to really make a go of it these days. Absolutely, 100%. And you don't really have to think this as a one-time thing. Like you have to think long-term. So how I like to think in, um, in e-commerce in general, I like to think to start building something that my two-year-old can take and run when she's like 20, 30 years old. Most of the people start, dropshipping is a great way to get started or print on demand or whatever someone is doing. But most of the people are in doing it for the money. They're not treating the customer right. And it's really funny because I do this kind of video. So I go and order from stores and then I go tape, uh, record myself in video uh, doing these things. People don't give an amazing customer experience. And this is why they have only one time buyers from the store because they didn't really care about the customer. They only cared about the money they put in their pockets and they go to find the next one. Even if you screw up and you tell the customer, 90% of the customers will appreciate it. Even like dropshipping, we're talking about really big delivery times, like yeah. taking sometimes even four weeks, six weeks, okay? And you had some really furious customers. If you take them and tell them, we are sorry, we apologize, you are right, here's a coupon, here's your money back, here's a refund, here's a coupon for next order. Whatever you do, when you please the customer, because we have to be really appreciate, uh, really grateful for the things that we get. Okay, when you get to show the customer that you really do care, okay, it's when the moment that the, the customer is customer for life. And I was really joking with, uh, with a friend the other day. We were having lunch and I said, man, 
who paid for this lunch? He said, I did. No, bro, you didn't. Our customers paid for that mm. because we really do, did care and gave them an amazing customer experience. So when they, when we really did care about them, they paid us money and they gave us a good value. We gave them a good value. We took some of the money and we are happy about it. Sounds like capitalism. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> sounds like a good, sounds like a good model. So what I'm curious about, what are your goals? Like what are your goals for 2018 and beyond? Where do you want to take uh, you know, your corner of the e-commerce world. And the irony, make more money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, where do you want to go? That's right. Make more money. Yeah. Actually, I want to educate more people. Uh, it's, uh, it's one of my goals when I really first started to really do care.